Hello and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are introducing our brand new set called Turkey Day um, and we have so many fun things going on over at the blog at lawnfawn.blogspot.com August 20th through 25th. We have lots of giveaways, lots of videos, lots of design team samples and there's so many fun things to see. Um, and tomorrow we are going to be revealing our nine brand new fall winter 2011 sets. And we're going to have a little video to go along with that tomorrow and kind of just going over all of them. So we're just so excited about showing you guys those. But for today, we're going to talk about Turkey Day. And Turkey Day is a little mini set. So it's the two by three set, kind of like the size of Winter Bunny or Fly Free. And um, it's perfect for Thanksgiving. So um, let's go ahead and stamp out this turkey. So here he is. He's super cute. I just love him. And he's perfect for stamping just like this for coloring and for paper piecing. So he's kind of great for all of those different things. Uh, he's really good for, you know, place cards or creating little coloring books for kids for Thanksgiving. Um, you can also, you know, use the turkey year round because, you know, the turkeys are just, they're, he's, you know, he's really cute. So <laughs> you can use them all year round. Um, and you're going to see some really fun examples of different treats and things like that you could do for Thanksgiving using this guy. Um, so there's this and then he comes with, of course, the Happy Turkey Day sentiment. So we've got our turkey and our sentiment in this little mini set. Here is the Happy Turkey Day sentiment, and it's a great sentiment, and it's it's stacked tall like this, which is great because it goes along with the turkey, um, and it's perfect for little tags. It works really well for like a little tag to put on, say, if you brought the neighbors by some goodies, some pumpkin bread, or something like that. Um, but you could also stamp it so that it was straight across, you know, just ink up some of the words at a time and do it that way. So you've got lots of options there. Okay, so now let's do a little coloring and paper piecing. So I'm going to color the top bird first. Okay, so here we have a really fun colored turkey and I just did really simple two different shades and kept it kind of lighter towards the top of the feather and I did oranges, reds, and yellows for the feathers. And But you can get really creative and cool with your colors um, on the feathers. But he's really, really fun to color actually. It's, he's, he's a blast to color. So I wanted to kind of go over paper piecing. Um, I went out and cut out, um, I stamped on some um, papers from, they're from Imaginus. Um, apple cider collection. It was from last year's fall collection, but the papers are just so cute. And so I stamped out the body in this brown, and then what I did was I took the um, the feathers, and when I when I stamped them, I actually left this long piece here. So let me let me zoom in a little bit here. So there's this long piece right here and that I left on the on it so that I could more easily glue this feather down and I'd be able to kind of lift this up and give those feathers there some dimension. So um, the easiest way to me to do this is just to use some glue. So I've got some of this uh, Tombow Mono multi-glue stuff. I just like the tip on this one because it's kind of more pinpointed. So I'm just gonna put some glue to on the tip part of this and towards the bottom part. And I'm gonna glue this down just like this and then you know take the nice thing about glue is you have that time to kind of line it up a little bit and then what I want to do is I want the, the feather there to be up a little bit so I'm just kind of curling it just slightly just like that just to give it a little bit of movement and I'm gonna go and repeat that with all the feathers Okay, so I've glued them all down now, and the reason why I think this is easier is one, it's easier to kind of grab it from this little sort of extra little bit that you've had, you've put on there because some of these are really tiny, and so for me it's just easier to kind of glue down that way. So I think it works really well. And then when you go and you take and you put the uh, turkey body over it, it really has this look like the feathers are coming out, and I feel like you know it gives that continuous look as opposed to the feathers just being stuck on him. So I'm gonna glue him real, down real fast too. And just with some glue, and you could use dimensionals, and you could get all, you know all sorts of creative with how you glue this little guy down. But I'm just going to use some plain old glue today, and so I'm just lining up Mr. Turkey here. Okay. So there's that. And now you could paper piece his little beak and everything, but I think that, that those little pieces for me, I didn't feel like doing that today, um, which, but it would look really cute if you did. So I thought I would just take a marker, and you can use any kind of marker, and just color in this part here. And the cool thing about coloring right over the pattern paper is it'll still take on some of the t this kind of wood grain texture of the pattern paper, which I think kind of helps keep it all continuous, just like that. 
And I also think it would be fun to give him a little bit of shading right here. So I'm just using a real light brown and just giving a little bit of shading around these little wing feathers here. Just like that. And now we have a really fun paper piece Thanksgiving turkey. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this set. Um, you know, coloring, stamping him just plain, using him as a coloring book idea for kids on Thanksgiving, and then doing some really fun paper piecing too, just like this guy here um, is really fun. And then you can stamp the uh, sentiment like this, or you could stamp it longwise too. And that's just really fun to play up with your sentiments that way because you can kind of create, um, you know, kind of create two, it has two very different different looks from being stacked and straight out. So it does give us a different feel to your project. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to head on by to the blog today and tomorrow for the big reveal. Um, and thank you so much for all of your guys' excitement during um, this fun release week. We are having a blast. So I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye. Okay, so I have a little PS here to the video because there was something I forgot to add in that I just wanted to show you guys. And then it's, you can turn this turkey into a really fun peacock. So it involves some kind of creative inking and some pen, but it looks really, really cute. So it's worth it so that you can use the stamp year round. So I'm gonna do is I'm just taking some regular old scotch tape and I'm gonna um, rip it up here. And what I'm trying to do is just cover up the feathers on the inside that make him look very turkey-ish. So right here, and what this is going to do is it's kind of kind of mask that area off so that we don't pick up any of that ink there. So, and I'm just going to put a little more tape right here to make sure we're only only taping off the parts we don't want ink. So I had to move it off his little turkey leg there. So it just takes a little bit of time there to figure it out, but it's, it's not too long. It's not too bad. And then what I want to do is mask off his like little gobble thing, which I can never remember the name of, but uh, <laughs> you know, the little turkey thing that hangs down there. And I'm going to mask that off too. And I'm going to have to end up fixing part of this. I know that part of it's going to, part of the beak is going to get masked off no matter what I do here, but that's okay. So right now we've got all these areas taped off and then we're going to ink him up just like this. And then we're going to take off these pieces of tape really carefully and then we're going to stamp him out. So you can see how cute that is already looking. So now what we're going to do is just fix up the parts that ended up. So I'm just using a black fine tip pen and um, I like the 0 0.5 tip pens. And this is one of the Copic pens, but really any pen would work. And I'm just going through and fixing right here where we had the tape, it got a little bit of the turkey leg. So I'm just fixing that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this curved line so that it kind of frames off the beak. And then I'm just gonna draw in these lines here, just like that. And just like that, we've created a peacock looking bird instead of a turkey. So I'm gonna color him real fast and it's gonna look very peacocky. <laughs> okay, so here we have our peacock. I colored him really, really simply, just kind of a teal turquoise in the middle and with purple feathers, just like that. And I think he looks absolutely adorable as a peacock. So turkey, peacock, um, you can use him all year round. So thank you so much for watching and for watching this little extra bit at the end. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.